Yeah, a lot of a lot of especially black folks don't realize that these huge companies are looking to partner with black owned minority owned businesses. Like they literally will beg like, hey, do you know any others? Because a lot of these big companies, they have a corporate mission to support minority owned businesses, but they cannot find minority owned businesses. And when I say find, those businesses have to be mature enough to speak the same language, to be able to get their lawyers in contact with their lawyers versus like a, unfortunately, a mom and pop shop. They can't necessarily risk. But I just want people out there to understand that there is a huge lane in doing B2B business. And just by the fact that you are a minority, if you can figure out how to break into that business, it it's money that will potentially print itself. And then vice versa, as we're looking to really grow and expand in B2B, if there are people out there, you know, some of the listeners that work for some of these larger companies, that's how we're able to build some of these relationships is, hey, I heard about this black owned business, they're doing really great things. Go and talk to your boss about potentially having this for uh, the Christmas party or for the anniversary gift or something like that. And it you get way further from people inside the business kind of being your your lead then, hey, let me just knock the door. You never heard of me before. I'm going to shoot you an email. So it's really the people that help us build build that path on in B2B. And we're looking forward to continuing that in this year. 